One, two, three. We are here today with the idea that we would not be a bunch of arts administrators talking to one another about the arts, but that we would, in fact, talk about issues that are facing the arts, facing society, and bringing other people together to have the conversation. There's a sorrow in the wind blowing down the road I've been it does require a level of participation, and that's something that we're going to talk about in all areas, actually, about how we participate in our world, about how we actually choose to partake as citizens of the larger world, uh, or perhaps to stay in our own bubbles. And this is about breaking out of that for the arts. The reason why the United States is the most powerful country in the world is not because we have more nuclear bombs than anybody else. A nuclear bomb does not influence how you walk, how you talk, how you dance, how you dress. America's the most powerful country because of the exportation of culture. We aren't a country where you can separate the culture from the politics and the economics. Everything is together. It's part of our DNA. The pendulum tends to swing back after a while, which is what happened in this situation. Those museums are thriving right now. I learned some things I didn't know. I learned, for example, that Duke Ellington said about his landmark music, I merely took the energy it takes to pout, and I wrote some blues. We write symphonies in our skin. We compose concertos in our color. And even God's orchestra will be incomplete without you. You are needed. Here, we are all equal. Here, we occupy the same space, and we have the same ownership. And that's not only equalizing, but it's something that we can collectively take pride in. One of the most important things that all of us care about is the thing that the human brain has done, which is to create art and performing arts, visual arts, literature, all the kinds of things that make civilization so important and make life so enjoyable. Because sometimes even the strongest 